Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He started the civil rights movement between the 19th and the 1960s, which was big because it was still a lot of segregation. Equal rights wasn't prominent for a lot of the minorities. Inspirational. Equality and justice. A thought leader. Passionate. Dedicated. Courageously held us accountable. Effective leader. A warrior and a trailblazer. Champion. Champion of a cause. Champion of people. Uh, certainly a champion of making our world a better place. The number one thing that I got from him is that no matter what type of adversity you're facing, you can overcome it with deliberate action and laser focus. He was able to move people through without violence in a peaceful manner that was able to influence just not only our country, but globally on a level that would surprise others. I think for Martin Luther King was inclusion. When you look at the application of the principles that he fought for, it was more than just the idea of equality for all the races. It was bringing all the races into that discussion point. One of the big things that I take out of his message is this kind of, you know, improving the, the organization, the country, the world through in a situation where you're not through violence, you know, and that's incredibly important to me as a military leader because of what we're doing uh, within the organization and how we're trying to improve the organization. Focusing on his I have a dream speech, I grew up in the south, south, very deep south, and uh, uh, it was challenging growing up. And the thing from Dr. King's speech that resonated with me the most was uh, a uh, dream where people are judged by the content of their heart, not the color of their skin. We shall overcome because the arc of moral history is long, but it bends towards justice. So I, I really like that because it, it, you know, it, uh, it acknowledges the struggle and the hopefulness right, of the struggle, and I kind of really enjoyed that. Anyone who can reach a person in a certain way that would make them want to follow uh, into situations that may not always be safe, uh, but be able to effectively communicate the goal and why it was important, um, man, that's the most effective leader that you could possibly have, right? He didn't let his own insecurities, or he wasn't held back by what other people might think, um, and he took risk on his own for the greater good of mankind. I mean, it's decades later and we're still fighting civil rights and working for equality, but his legacy will live on because of his deliberate actions back then, which started everything moving forward, and now it's still going. So he took a chance with going against every adversity that he could probably face back then. Uh, and it basically set up what we have now and we are a long way from back to 50s and 60s. Dr. King stood up for folks that, and he made his voice heard, and he made it heard in a peaceful and a very effective manner. And he made that, he made the change lasting. Um, still, look at Dr. King and look at today in 2022. Uh, we're still talking about his accomplishments and what he did for black people across America, and I would argue across the world too. And not just for, for black people, but for people of all color people of all creeds, people of all backgrounds. Uh, he really stood for opportunity for everybody, and that is a true champion. Now is the time <laughs> to lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time <laughs> to make justice a reality for all of God's children. 